things because of what's called global warming. Now politicians from 24 countries around the world have travelled to Antarctica to see the problem themselves and discuss ways to preserve the ice-cold region. The conference has come as scientists once again are warning that climate change is taking its toll on this fragile part of the world. Huge chunks of ice, some hundreds of miles long, are breaking away. The Antarctic is slowly melting. This will lead to a rise in sea levels, and scientists fear to a change in the world's weather, with some areas getting hotter and some colder. The countries meeting this week will no doubt discuss ways to reduce gases released into the atmosphere from industry and cars that cause global warming. Earlier, I spoke to the BBC's environment correspondent, Richard Wilson, who is in Antarctica now. I asked him just how badly is global warming affecting the Antarctic. Yes, Chris, that's a very serious problem in parts of Antarctica. There are areas where the temperature has risen by two and a half degrees centigrade in the last 50 years. To put that into context, that's four times faster than throughout most of the rest of the world. So global warming is indeed a very serious issue here. Why does it affect other parts of the world? Well, the problem comes from our lifestyles in the industrialized countries. It's the coal and oil we burn in our power stations to generate electricity, and the cars we drive and the petrol they use. What happens is they create carbon dioxide pollution, and that carbon dioxide pollution is wrapping the world in what is effectively a warm blanket of gas. So temperatures are rising, and here in Antarctica, although it's very cold here at the moment, it is actually getting warmer more quickly than anywhere else. Richard Wilson, thank you for talking to us.